The seven sacraments of our Catholic Church are baptism, confirmation, Eucharist, penance, anointing of the sick, marriage, and holy orders. But before we get to see these sacraments in detail, let's first know what is a sacrament. A sacrament means which God show His grace and help us receive salvation. The word sacrament means a sign of the sacred, which is fitting as they are all outward signs from God to us. Not only are they signs, but they are also celebrations of a continued journey and relationship with Him. The seven sacraments of the Church are divided into three categories. Sacrament of Initiation and Sacraments of Healing and Sacraments of Service. In the Bible, Christ gives His followers clear instructions on how to administer and receive each of the sacraments. This is seen through His work with the Apostles healing the sick, parables giving His body and blood to nourish our souls, and forgiving sinners. The three sacraments of initiation are baptism, confirmation, and Eucharist. Each is meant to strengthen your faith. Baptism is the first sacrament where you become united with Christ and the Church. No other sacrament can be received without it. A priest performs this rite by immersing the baptismal candidate into water therefore cleansing their original sin through water and the word. In Roman Catholicism, the baptism of infants is the most common form. But unbaptized children or adults who wish to join the faith must also receive the sacrament. A person is said to be A person is to be baptized only once in their life. While baptism, the holy water is usually sprinkled or poured on the head by a priest who simultaneously invokes the Trinity with the words, I baptize you to the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The old self is said to die in the water and a new self emerges, mirroring the death and resurrection of Christ. Confirmation this is the second sacrament that follows baptism as a part of the initiation process with God and the Church, where the person who receives the gift of Holy Spirit and continues their journey with Christ. During confirmation, the person is anointed on the forehead with chrism by a bishop. The act of confirmation is said to acknowledge that they still want to continue their journey with God and grow their relationship with Him. The third sacrament, Eucharist, means thanksgiving. This is when Christ's body and blood are offered and then received by the parishioner in the form of bread and wine. Christ, during the Last Supper, broke bread, ate it, and gave it to his disciples and told them to eat it. Now the priest, through the words of consecration, blesses and administers, blesses and administers the Holy Communion during every Mass to remind followers that they are one with Christ. Food and drink nourishes our bodies and Christ's blood and body nourishes us spiritually. The Sacraments of Healing The two sacraments of healing are penance and anointing the sick. Penance allows us Penance allows for spiritual healing and absolution for people who have distanced themselves from God to sin. During this sacrament, one confesses their sins to God through a priest who forgives their sins by God's mercy and orders them to live more faithful life through absolution. Anointing Sick This sacrament is only bestowed upon those who are seriously ill or suffering which then unites the inflicted with Christ's passion, anointing the forehead and hands of the person with chrism, while a priest administers a special blessing is, is showered upon them. This is how this sacrament is received. The Sacraments of Service The devotion husband and wife have to each other 
and to Christ mirrors Christ's love and service to the church. Through marriage, a couple promises to help build each other in faith, serve each other and the and the church and be faithful to each other until death. Holy orders. This sacrament is for those who chose to become a priest, bishop or a deacon. Through ordination, they are able to perform sacred duties and serve the church community. This is not a sacrament that everyone partakes in. Rather, it's one that that people feel called to by God. So these are the seven sacraments of the Holy Catholic Church. Thanks for watching.